where is she? All of us arrived at the same time. Who'll get a seat and who won't? Uh, what is this place? I thought we were coming down here to eat. What the? Is she playing a prank on us? Didn't even finish my soup. It's a prank, all right. We just went up the stairs and saw that there was no one left upstairs. Is there some hidden camera rolling? Do they want to see us make a fool of ourselves? The stairs? I just checked the stairs. It's locked already. I just came down with the final batch. You guys were arguing too much, so I wanted to go back and finish my soup. But the elevator's not working anymore, so I figured maybe I can take the stairs. is out of use. That's why I said it's dangerous down here. No one ever listens to me and they all rush downstairs. Putting your life at risk just to try some strange new food? <sighs> Stupid. Oh, it's you. The one who also got squeezed flat against the wall back there. between you and me. Help. It's extremely dangerous down here. There are things beyond your worst nightmares. It's truly terrible. You've got to believe me. We have to get back upstairs. Dear guests, please quiet down. I did say that the seats for the dinner banquet are first come first served, but... One must meet certain standards to be eligible. You will encounter different challenges at random times and places. Whether or not you're... After all, only honorable souls are worthy of dining with the noble, elegant, and perfect Miss Cabernet. You personally invited me here. What, am I not worthy enough now? Honorable soul? Worthy? What are you talking about? What challenges? What if we fail? Is this some kind of battle royale? What if you fail? <laughs> You'll be eliminated, of course. Haven't you noticed that some of you have already been eliminated? So, everyone here has already passed the first challenge. Uh, if you're not confident about being worthy enough to dine with Miss Cabernet, I can eliminate you right here. Is there anyone who doesn't want to participate? Then, let the new challenge commence. Please complete the game as soon as possible, my dear guests.
Hmm. You don't look well. What happened? I don't know the chef named McGrath very well. If you want to learn about her from me, all I can share is only some rumors and faint impressions of mine. I did hear rumors about the legendary ingredients she got, as well as the legendary powers. But I just assumed she made them up to win my approval. Last time we met, McGrath didn't get the approval she wanted from me. But she didn't yell at me like the others, or vow to win me over next time. She simply gave me an invitation to this feast a month later, saying that she got my favorite ingredients and will make cuisine that I love for sure. Correct. I pretty much guessed that she had my treasures. I was worried that something might happen to them, so I pulled some strings to get a seasoned professional to help me, which is you, dear chief. I know I've caused trouble for you. I didn't expect things to come to this either. She has become crazy and even started harming innocent people. You'd have to ask Miss McGrath herself, but if you ask me, I do love watching the best ingredients be transformed into delicacies through the art of cooking. This is probably her way of seeking approval. I'll try my best to assist you protect you from McGrath and find your companion. As well as find my precious treasures.
Pick something valuable to swap it out. Please, circle your chosen items in the picture below. Note that once selected, you will lose these items. Chef's game? Whoever loses gets turned into... food? long time ago. Those on the top floor disappeared because they gave in to their hedonism. And then we have those vain social climbers who brawled to get the first spot in the elevator. As for this gentleman, he wouldn't even care to save a little critter. Tell me, what honor do these people have? This is only what they deserve. <laughs> you didn't tell us anything about that. How despicable. What's so dishonorable about eating an extra bit of food? Oh, it's quite dishonorable indeed. You don't even have this bit of self-control. Think about Miss Cabernet. She would never eat anything short of perfect. One must be like her to make it to the end. Got it? After all, how can I allow anyone tainted to dine with Miss Cabernet? <laughs> this is my surprise gift for you, Miss Cabernet. To give you the best dining experience, I will ensure that you're neither lonely nor pestered. 
You will approve of me, right? What? This is all for Miss Cabernet? Is Cabernet behind all this? Then she's a wicked accomplice of that crazy chef! She's simply picking the ingredients she likes! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I remember it now. I read a story about Cabernet on a blog. Cabernet was born into a prominent Eastside family. Day in, day out, she ate the most magnificent delicacies. Thus, this made Cabernet an extremely picky epicure. She never ate anything she considered short of perfect. To satisfy their daughter's exquisite palate, her parents searched high and low for the rarest delicacies for Cabernet. But for a long time, they couldn't find anything to her standards. Then, one day, a chef bravely volunteered to serve Cabernet a dish. The chef lifted up the cloche, revealing a string of fragrant grapes on a plate. The delectable grapes caught Cabernet's attention. She couldn't help but pop one into her mouth. She suddenly realized that grape was the most delicious thing she had ever tasted, so she gobbled up the rest one by one. But Cabernet was not gratified, so she asked the chef, are there any more of these delicious grapes? And do you know what the chef said? Let me tell you, that chef said, I only have this one child. Is this part of the surprise? <laughs> you have the right to believe that story. Or not. I know you won't believe anything I say at this point, and I'm not in the mood for lecturing anyone. People shouldn't be taking cues from misinformation. But to me, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Finally, they finally stopped. 
What? You believe that story too? First of all, I want to thank you for saving me just now. Though we're besieged on all sides right now, this makes me feel that at least I can trust you. That's quite funny, actually. I don't have many people around me who I can trust. So... You're right. My treasures. My precious ingredients are two people. I cherish them very much. They showed me what a truly honorable soul is like, transcending any social status or identities. I did become a picky epicure after I met them. But it's because they showed me what a truly satisfying taste is like. Later, however, many began regarding me as some sort of guide. There were even rumors that only chefs whose dishes I approved of are good. Just like how I don't want my graph to judge my treasures or preferences by her standards. Plus, she stole my treasures, which is unforgivable in the first place. What I want right now is not some surprise or dinner. I only wish I could take back from her the treasures that belong to me. Don't worry, I also promised you that I will help and protect you. I knew it. I knew this would be a trap. Uh, it's very delicious, Chef McGrath. No one would criticize your food. I'm just a bit curious. Ojijia Villa is a renowned property of our society, and I've been to many ceremonies here. But I didn't know there's such a room under it. Maybe I'm not as strong, experienced, and perfect as you, Chef McGrath, so the President didn't tell me about it.
please don't mind me. I'll stay and have some more soup.
This is the worst decision you've made. How can water trap the ocean messenger? Don't underestimate me, Miss Chef. Do you really think that I'm a weak and docile little girl who daydreams all day long, like that old prick told you? Thank 
you for your answer. A secret door? He loves these kinds of hidden triggers. Let me see. Damn it! How does that old twit usually do it? Instead of doing this kind of stuff all day, why not arrange more meetings for me to increase the number of seafarers? <gasps> is... is this... a monster?
There are so many secret passages in this place. No wonder events for rich people are always held here. Why aren't there any signs here? Doesn't he get lost himself? Come on! Let me get out of this godforsaken place! Thank goodness, the elevator still works. Let me go out first. Monsters far scarier than me in this world. deliberate part of her selection process? It's too dangerous! But to do that, first, we have to leave this floor 
alive. But how exactly do we win this game? because you're quite special, Chief. You, and Miss Cabernet, and me, and Miss Macchiato, everyone will be fine. you, Chief. Miss Kelvin, try turning your ice into a blade. Then maybe you can cut them. That way, we'll be able to look for clues to help us escape this icy chamber. All right, I'll try.
Ugh, how disgusting. His heart is still beating. What will you choose to do? No. No, Chief. I'll do it. I know that if Miss Cabernet hadn't stopped me from eating that third ice cream by the pool, or if Chief hadn't pulled me out of my seat and led me into the elevator, I... I might have been eliminated back on the top floor. Chief... Miss Cabernet is our client. She's such a gentle, caring soul who listened to my food commentary and protected me. Same with you, Chief. You know how scared I am of such people and events, and how anxious I am about screwing everything up. You always protect me, carefully and kindly, and never blame me for not finding any important clues. I really, really want to tell you guys how much I like you and appreciate all of you. So, this time, let me protect you. I believe that the two of you will win this game. Chief, Miss Cabernet, if I were to turn into a bowl of shaved ice, what flavor would you want me to be? Blueberry, vanilla, dotted with soft mochi. Sweet and cold, almost too delicious to swallow.
Right! Now the elevator is out of use. That's why I said it's dangerous down here. No one ever listens to me and they all rush downstairs. Putting your life at risk just to try some strange new food? <sighs> Stupid. Also got squeezed flat against the wall back there. Please keep this between you and me. Help me, I beg of you. It's extremely dangerous down here. There are things beyond your worst nightmares. It's truly terrible. You've got to believe me. We have to get back upstairs. That's odd, but I guess it's good that she didn't notice me. The ingredient better not reveal itself to the gourmet. It's that chef's voice. <laughs> so, she's still in control of the whole place. Selection? Honorable? So not everyone here is going to be Cabernet's food. <laughs> no matter. Let them fight each other to death. It'll get interesting around here. Though, I really want to see who's honorable enough to become Cabernet's dish like me. <laughs> this is probably nothing more than a big magic show. I know you're suffering right now. Perhaps nothing I say will ease your pain. But you must know that the fact that you're still here means we haven't lost. There's only one way out, and that's forward. That's the spirit. That's how you should be. The rules are all at McGrath's discretion. So this development is <laughs> unsurprising. I don't believe it. You made it this far? Haven't given up yet. And you're even here with Miss Cabernet. Oh, 
Of course. Why wouldn't I? You really think you made it here on your own? You think you're still qualified to win? Reflect upon your behavior and how you made it this far. <sighs> if Miss Cabernet hadn't been protecting you all the way, you would have died in the pool back on the top floor! Crash this party with an invitation that doesn't belong to you, accompanied by hedonistic and cowardly companions. And now, to utter some nice-sounding nonsense only after the bad things have happened. I've been watching you. I've been wanting to eliminate you this whole time. You obviously don't fully trust Miss Cabernet. Why do you still keep sticking to her side? She's so noble and kind and perfect. Her words have always steered my efforts. Yet, why does she like you so much? Why does she protect you even though you have never trusted her? She is the best and most precious guest here. Only she deserves to be the sole winner of this game. Even if... Even if she cheats on your behalf to make you resurrect again and again. But I know it's because Miss Cabernet is too kind. So, out of respect for her kindness, we'd better get back to the game and let the rules decide who wins. Miss Cabernet, there are only two of you left. At this depth, I'm afraid your little grapes don't work anymore. This is Ojigia Villa, the legendary depths of the ocean. I hope you make up your mind before you drown. You know it. It's not a nice feeling. <laughs> make your final decision. I know you want to win, but now, how exactly will you achieve that? <laughs> Sacrifice Miss Cabernet and let her turn into food? But she's been helping you all this time. Are you really going to do that? Good heavens! I don't believe any honorable person would do that, right? Or you can obediently turn into food and become the most delicious and honorable soul for the dinner banquet that Miss Cabernet and I will enjoy later. Of course, you can just simply do nothing and drown. Miss Cabernet, don't worry. Tonight, I will present you the most unforgettable feast. You will definitely approve of me. I'm sure of it. How can you be sure that the souls you give me, I will eat and approve of as the most delicious? Uh, huh? Because they are the most honorable souls. 
And what is honorable, by your definition? Uh, an honorable soul is, of course, compassionate and honest, noble and flawless, and can resist temptation. <laughs> I don't think even I can meet those standards. No, of, of course not. To me, you're the most honorable one of all. Your perfection itself, Miss Cabernet. Those born in Syndicate can be selfless, to your surprise. What he chose to exchange with might have been his most precious possession. That flower might be from the girl he fancies, and paper on the table might have contained a poem he spent a week composing. People first and foremost have the will to survive. It's only natural for them to put their own life over others when they are on the verge of death themselves. Occasional fear is not shameful, and the pursuit of happiness is not some heinous crime. Whether it is beauty and ugliness, tears and laughter, tradition and innovation, yummy and yucky tastes, these are all but subjectivities born out of human nature. You stand in a place of arrogance and use my name to evaluate others. <laughs> Who gave you that right? Who are you to judge anyone else? But... But, but I... I just wanted to give you the best souls there are. Isn't that what suits your taste? I... I've read so much about you to find that out. Only the purest, kindest, and noblest souls in the world are worthy of your taste. I did this all for you. <laughs> for me? The honorable souls I seek are not something judged by your superficial and self-righteous criteria. Countless thoughts brew in the heart of the soul. It is also home to the cowardice, poverty, doubt, and ignorance you despise. Why are you saying these things? You never said anything bad about us. You're so decent and honorable. You've guided me. You've stood with me. Because you don't understand, amidst all the complex thoughts and emotions, every pure and authentic soul is worthy of my heart. They all shine brightly and exude exquisite flavor. Yet you... I once praised your skills, but I never thought... that your soul is so disgusting, it makes me want to vomit. How truly unappetizing. I'm the one who knows her best. I won't be judged by a fake. You, you're dishonorable. <laughs> you're not Miss Cabernet. You, you must have done something. Fess up. Give me the real Miss Cabernet. I'm going to eliminate you.
There you go. Game over. You did well, McGrath. It's fine. I trust you. There has never been a standard to judge whether a soul is honorable or not. Such games and rules are a joke to begin with. Neither you nor I want to play by such rules. So... Go and win this stupid game. I trust you. As long as you're still here, I know you'll save your treasure as well as mine. yourself for him you did this all for him you're truly selfless a real martyr miss cabernet i was wrong you're the most honorable soul there is you and only you <laughs> <laughs> 